Dutch. You keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Alright, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this could wait. Let's go. Hold up. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open.
Someone there? You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh. Okay. And, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I got the scare. It's over here. Stop. Got it loose. Jump. Good man. All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple cracked gunslingers here, but the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Come on, put your back into it.
I think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him! Get ahead of us! You see him? Shoot! Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Uh, Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. A bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You'll be safe. We got monsters out here. <sighs> well. So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like, anyhow? I have no idea. 
but I hear it's paradise. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you, though, I do. <clears throat> well, like leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. You see those two? Stay out of sight. Have you got a shot? Something crazy about you. Before we lose Bronte! Look out!
Keep that door covered. Let's check upstairs. It's not down here. Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Are we taking him to Dutch then? Big man, we gonna ransom you or what? Oh, you're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you gonna say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. No, they are good at smelling filth, huh? So oh. filth has got to be destroyed. Oh. Oh. Our friends of oh. are gonna come and rescue you, you oh. repulsive little maggot. Oh. 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 Call them now. You call them. Philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers 
Weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Good day, Mr. Morgan. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't like it. It's the right plan. We've... Jim? Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city. There are police. But as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the... Diversion, that's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. We do it at night. There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, nope. pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! Yeah! Let's go, let's go! Crack that whip, Mr. Matthews! This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Whip. Before. What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? <laughs> Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. 
This isn't some hick town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard, stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Well, one more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah. Let's hitch up here. Gentlemen. I've been thieves. It ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. <laughs> this. This is better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. <laughs> I love that Hosea! <coughs> this out. Forget all the drawers, just get those safes open. I need the combination for these safes. Tell him the combination. Come on, speak. Speak or die. Now. First number. 19. 
Should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton, <clears throat> let my friends go. Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily. Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains, no more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on! Thank <laughs> you. 
We lost John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. What you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roofs. If you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on. Like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> what now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're going to be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. Will we die out there right now? Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down. Head for the docks. Guards up ahead. What now? Just wait a second. Stay here. Let's cut through the train. Follow me. Someone's coming. Guard to the left. Stay low. Someone's coming. Duck. I don't see why we have to check the train. They just robbed Lemoyne National Bank. It's not like they're gonna take the first line out of town. But old Milton said. Milton said a lot. 
come on, I won't be out here all night. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. Jenkins, is that you? Huh. What was that? you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah. Let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real brave. What in the Hell? Who is... Excuse me! Buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most Come beautiful acts the... I ever saw. Come on. We got some gold, I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence and find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. <sighs> well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our families. At least we got some money now. Money? and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... 
That cloud look like good news to you? Oh, God damn it! 